All right, before we get to a weather report, remember earlier this week we talked about the wildflowers. They're already blooming, blooming uh, in the Death Valley area. Now this weekend, folks might want to do a little sightseeing and as well as watching. Perhaps the Metabolic Studio IOU radio players. They're going to be performing Death Valley Scotty live at the Furnace Creek Visitor Center in Death Valley National Park. That's taking place this Sunday, excuse me, Saturday, scheduled to start at 6 p.m. Now, this is going to be a live performance, and it's a benefit fundraiser. Proceeds from the sale of the $20 tickets going to restore ongoing work on the grounds and outbuildings at Scotty's Castle after that massive flash flood, uh, many of them actually, that swept through the historic district last fall. Now, for more information, urge you to see metabolicstudio.org. Let's go to the weather map. Sierra Wave Media forecaster Dennis Mattinson says, regarding the possible storm Friday through Sunday, forecast models are all over the board with timing and strength. But there is a general agreement that a system will move through our area then. Well, that's nice to hear. So unsettled weather impacting Oregon and Northern California first with rather high snow levels. DMAT says then additional moisture may sag down far enough to affect Inyo County. This cold could this could, excuse me, turn out to be a system with more widespread precipitation or one that produces heavy snowfall. One caveat here, Dennis Mattinson notes, most of the storms so far this season have come in weaker than forecasted for. Low tonight in an aura morning for Mammoth, 24 degrees, Bishop and the Owens Valley, 29 degrees. For Mammoth June, Mono County on Thursday, we're looking at mostly sunny skies with some light wind. 50 the expected high in Mammoth, low of about 33 degrees. We'll put in that 40% chance of afternoon rain because, yeah, a little bit warmer than we'd like to see, but then hopefully snow overnight or Friday afternoon overnight and into Saturday. Southwest winds could blow through Mono County 10 to 20 miles an hour, 47 the high in Mammoth, low of about 34 degrees. Snow likely on Saturday, still a bit warm with the expected high 39 degrees might see some southwest winds out there 10 to 15 overnight lows in the upper teens to the lower 20s for Bishop and the Owens Valley the forecast for Thursday what a lovely winter day mostly sunny skies with some light wind 64 the high in Bishop low of about 35 degrees for Friday Partly cloudy skies. Looks like the winds might kick up 10 to 15 miles an hour northwest with some gusts to 20. 64 again, the high in Bishop, low of about 41 degrees. And by Saturday, all right, we'll put in about an 80% chance of some rain. Uh, National Weather Service saying maybe a quarter inch in the valley. Northwest winds, 5 to 10 miles an hour, 54 the expected high in Bishop, low of about 29 degrees. So Mother Nature uh, brought us some uh, very nice precipitation levels and uh, are already uh, this uh, 2015. 2016 winter season. Bring it on, Mother Nature. We'll take a little bit more. I want to point out this picture back here. Andrew Kirk took that. That's uh, looking uh, west from Bishop at Mount Tom. We thank Andrew for that great photograph. That's going to wrap up news and information for us here on Sierra Wave TV3. You know, we're part of Sierra Wave Media. You can hear our radio station, Alt 92.5, streaming on our website, sierrawave.net. Have a great evening, everybody. Good night.